Welcome to The Wedding Course, where I'll be giving you the real deal when it comes to your wedding planning. Honey. So today I want to talk about dress codes because we've all received wedding invitations where we're like, what does this mean? <laughs> Semi-formal, black tie, beach chic, I don't understand. And then you have to go online and Google. So as you're putting together your wedding invitations, it's good also to have an idea in mind of what your guests will be wearing based on the attire you print on your invitation. So let me break it down for you. First, I'm gonna start with black tie. Black tie is really one of the most formal looks and attires for American weddings. We're seeing black tie a lot. Black tie weddings tend to take place or have an invitation start time after the sun has gone down to really make it a formal late night affair. So what does this mean for you in terms of dress code? Well, for the gentleman, it's a tux, very simple. A black tux, a navy tux, a tux. If you don't own a tux, however, I recommend you wear a dark suit, preferably black with a dark tie or bow tie. A black bow tie works well and dark shoes. For the ladies, I would say a floor length dress is really what you wanna look for. This could be of any color or style that you like. It could be um, one of the dresses that's higher in the front and goes all the way to the ground in the back. That's perfectly acceptable as well. But typically we'd say a floor length dress for anything black tie. Next on the list, formal. So formal attire is actually a lot like black tie. Uh, for the men, you can totally wear a tux, but you can really get away with a dark suit again, dark navy or black. For the ladies, however, you have a little bit more of a choice and a little bit more to room to play. So you could either wear, again, a formal floor length dress, or you could play and wear a cute cocktail dress. I would say still to keep it a formal cocktail dress and not go too beachy and playful, but you have a little bit more room to play, like I mentioned. So after formal, we have semi-formal. <laughs> We're just working our way down the list here. And with a semi-formal dress code for a wedding, I would say for the men also to stick with a dark suit. You can also do a sport coat with dark pants. Wear that tie and bow tie. And for the ladies, I would do a cocktail dress is really what I recommend. Or you could do a dark colored pantsuit if that's something uh, that you prefer for the semi-formal. So there's a little more flexibility. So cocktail dress, nice pantsuit are kind of your two options. So after semi-formal, we have cocktail attire. Cocktail attire, again, is I think one of the most self-explanatory dress codes because we all kind of are like great I got some fabulous cocktail dresses in the closet so ladies cocktail dress whichever color or playfulness that you prefer for the gentleman I'd still wear a suit with a tie and bow tie for a cocktail attire wedding uh, depending on the season you could change the colors out so if it's a fall winter wedding I recommend a darker suit in your grays navies or black and for the ladies maybe go with a darker color just because it is the winter time uh, in the summer definitely play with color you could go with a light gray or a lighter blue for the gentlemen for the ladies you want to bring some color in by all means it's summer have fun with it in summer and spring and then after cocktail attire we move on to beach chic I'm throwing in beach chic because I feel like a lot of brides and grooms in our generation are having a lot of beach weddings and destination weddings. So we're seeing more of this playful beach chic uh, attire printed on wedding invitations. So with beach chic, for the gentleman, I'd say go with a lighter suit. If linen's your thing, rock it. If you would prefer not to wear a tire bow tie, nix it, get rid of it, and I think that's fine but if it's part of your look, by all means, please include it. And light colored suits, go with lighter grays, tans, whites, like I said, if that's your thing, because it's going to probably be a lot warmer on the beach and you wanna make sure that you still can breathe through all those layers when it comes to the suit. And for the ladies, I would say a colorful, flowy cocktail dress, have some fun with it, play with color. You're on the beach um, is really a wonderful option. Now, if there is a certain type of wedding attire that I haven't addressed in this video, I kind of hit the four main ones that you'll see most often on wedding invitations. Please comment below. Let me know if you have questions on any other types of dress codes or wedding attire, and I would be happy to let you know my thoughts. 
But please subscribe, follow, and like The Wedding Course on YouTube and other social media so you can stay tuned on all my other videos because this is where you're gonna get the real deal on everything wedding planning. Happy planning.